Greetings and salutations. My name is Tish and welcome to the Artist Haven, where home plus art equals heart. In today's live video broadcast, I'm going live with Elisa from Jots Designs. So everybody, welcome Elisa. Hi. <laughs> hello, hello. Hello. And you are going to be working on resin, I presume, with your setup. trying to get my tablet to do something here. <laughs> All right. So well, while you are arguing with your tablet, I will welcome Miss Doris and Pickles and Julia made it today. Hello, welcome. And Kim Hi. is here too. And Gina Bina. Hello, Gina. <clears throat> Jason should be here shortly, I hope. If he's not too busy putting his nose in his books like he's supposed to. But, did you get your tablet going? It's thinking about it. It's thinking? That's never a good thing. It's oh thinking. wait, that's me. So, tonight, or today, whatever time you're watching this, right now it's 3.32 p.m. in Central Time. Um, here in Minnesota, don't you know. <laughs> um, I'm going to be doing some more yeah. spin art. Don't you know, eh? <laughs> Go down to the Legion and have some loot fisk, eh? <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'm going to do some more spin art, but this time I'm going to do like a Dutch, like a blowout with a hairdryer. Not so much a Dutch pour, just going to blow it out first and then spin it. And I am going to use um, my oil mix that I used last night. And I found another cup of it, but it had black in it in the oil mix. And so I mixed the two of them together and put some more Floetrol in it. So it's relatively thin. Let's see. Burp. It's actually very thin. It doesn't leave Did a trace. Did you say burp? Erp. I said erp. Erp. Oh. <laughs> burp. And then, and then I've got two canvases here. Because I can't imagine this is going to take very long. Um, but then it is me, so who knows. Um, and then this is the white that I have left over from Saturday Night Shenanigans. This actually has silicone in it, so we're going to try that as a blow thing so we can see what we kind of lacing and cells we get with that being the top part. And I've got permanent green, wait, this is the permanent green light. This is the green gold. This is ultramarine blue and permanent magenta and then I've got some more white that's watered down for the background and some more black that's watered down for the background and I'm going to be covering up some 8x10 canvases that I found hiding that I was always meaning to pour over but forgot about it so oof da oof da don't you know <laughs> this year is the Jason's 60th ta-da Jason's here you like this one? This one's fuzzy. I didn't like it at all. <laughs> so we're going to re-pour this one. Um, this year is the 60th anniversary of Etch-A-Sketch. They're coming out with cool spin-offs of it. Very cool. Very, very cool. I always liked my Etch-A-Sketch. Tell my... Never mind. <laughs> till, till, it, till it got broken, it did. I like them until I realized I suck at them, and then I stop. <laughs> How can you suck at an etch a sketch? Because I can't draw worse shit without an etch a sketch. With worse <laughs> crap, sorry, worse a darn. <laughs> it's okay. It's PG thirteen. We can let one slide. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I need to move my chair up because I can't reach my paint. I feel like a kid at the table going eh eh. Okay, so I think, oh, I just put my finger in paint. Surprise! Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do back, but back. I'm going to do back in the background. <laughs> I'm going to do black in the background on one of these. And then do white for the cell color and see what happens. I'm afraid that's going to turn into gray, though. So maybe we'll just stay black on. Monopoly. Yeah, Blair that says doesn't they're going to have 
a monopoly in Tetrathon. No idea how it's going to work, but hey. Well, I had to retake calculus in college because I got I didn't I didn't do well enough in the class in high school, and it's because I had Tetris on my TA85 calculator. <laughs> <laughs> Jason's taking pre-calculus this semester. Mm -hmm. I'm like, have fun with that. <laughs> I never got past eligible. Love to help, but uh, <laughs> yeah, that was 20 years ago. So. <laughs> hey, wait, we can do acrylic skins off the... I don't... I, mm -mm. That was never my bag. Math is never my thing. Never has been, never will be. Okay, let me uh, quickly show you guys what I'm doing too. So, obviously it's a cutting board. This actually has a little handle that goes here that I already unscrewed and we'll put back on, um, of course, once it's done. And I'm using, um, ClearCast 7050 from the Epoxy Resin Store. And I'm going to do a swipe. Let me just stir this so it doesn't get grippy on me. Um, so, since I'm doing a swipe, I'm going to use the Rustoleum Gloss Black enamel, oil bake. And to make that opaque, I'm going to use some Lorez Black, Midnight Black. And my colors are going to be Artisu's Green Ice and Egyptian Blue. Ooh, that's and pretty. Red canary yellow. Ooh. She's going for That's yellow. Turquoise and yellow happen to be my thing, so, you know. Hey. I apparently can't stray very far. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat, eh? It'll go with my house. Anything turquoise goes with your house? Yep. Turquoise and yellow. <laughs> and gray. And orange. Purple. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tina was here right, uh, uh, briefly. Tina Poo. Hi, Tina. Bye, Tina. We miss you. Yes, we do. Julia. Ooh, pretty Are colors. Are you using pink? No. Well, magenta. Yeah, it doesn't fully count as pink, but... I guess close enough. That makes it so Tina's not going to date. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think she's mad at me. I'm not using enough pink. That's why she's not coming around. She doesn't love us anymore. Oh, yes. You use that, You use pink a lot now. She never shows up. I know. I need to stop. I'll just stop using pink. Maybe she'll show up again. I know. She's exactly. And then she's, show up. She's really busy <laughs> with life and stuff, so. Yeah. I can't. I life can't blame her for things. And the only reason why I put the white down is because white or yellow and black usually make this weird kind of green gray color and I didn't like that. Oh and I forgot the gold. Shame on me. We'll just put it on the side here. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I know. You don't like gold. <laughs> I happen to like... I, I like gold in paintings. I don't like gold on my skin. Yeah. Well, I'm okay if it's with black. Just because the you colors are gold and black. Yeah. Alright. I'm going to blow this out so... See what happens. Hang on, there's like fur all over it. How do I have cat hair? And I haven't had a cat in this house in almost two years. It's probably Zoe's. No, me. Zoe's hair came oh, all the way yeah. to Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> yes. oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know why you're questioning this, but yes. <laughs> yes. There, well, you know, he did send me a package. It probably could have been all cat hair inside, and I wouldn't even notice because oh, I was I'm so sure. excited. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
let's go okay final countdown y'all if you're wearing earbuds turn down your volume here we go one two or five four three two one blew off all the paint in the one direction. It's not just a band anymore. Okay. Well, we're going to tip it this way. Spin this again. I need another up a dip. Probably a uh, OBS setting. You, it, if you're using OBS to go live on StreamYard, I think you have to use it a, a OBS as a virtual cam. I don't think you can use actual OBS, uh, uh, actual settings within OBS. I'm not sure though. Don't quote me on that, because I have been wrong before when it comes to technological issues. What issue is what? What is she talking about? Oh, um, someone was trying to go live with her as a test, and he's using a DSLR camera, and I think he was using straight up OBS, and um, you can record with OBS, and you can go live with OBS, but to use it for StreamYard, you have to use what's called a virtual camera in OBS so that's why I think I, I didn't know he didn't know that I think that's what it's called I don't know I'm just a girl what do I know okay I'm gonna spin this one more time so pre-prepared hey, this thing's louder than my hair dryer Well, that, now that, that, yep. Okay, one more. One more, and then I'm going to hit it with a torch, and then I'm done. Because that's kind of awesome. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to hit it with the torch. <clears throat> I'm liking that. <laughs> All right, I gotta fix the sides here. So you saying I'm I'm just a bird or so, whatever, like Natalie <laughs> Rubia song or something stuck in my head. Oh. <laughs> I'm like a bird. There we go. Yeah, yeah, I'm like a bird. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Not really, but you know, I thought I'd, the, the gestures there. Yeah. 
Okay. Let's set that down again. Oh, paint all over the hands. Yay! What? What? Tish has paint on her hands? No, never. <laughs> when do you not have paint on your hands? When I'm not painting. Well, that can't be true. <laughs> okay. The last time I made a true valid effort to get all the paint off of my skin, hair, face, everything was when I went to the melting pot with my daughters. I still had a little bit underneath my fingernails, but it just was not budging no matter how hard I hit it with the nail brush and the little cuticle thingy-mabobber to clean out underneath your nails with. But it was only a little bit and it was not noticeable. So, well, it wasn't noticeable to me. And... I think I would have to quit painting for like a year for that to happen. Forgot to tell my GoPro to start recording. God bless. Sorry, Julia. Okay, there's my first one. Your head. I blame Tish. And now Doris has because I'm having my born. <laughs> No, no, gloves would not help with the paint and nail problems because I'd still have paint on my arms. So, there. Yeah, she gets paint on herself before putting gloves on, so... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Kind of and I... <laughs> yep. Or paint... You know what I had happen the other day is I had gloves on. You'll, you'll not believe it. I had gloves on. And... Um, I won't believe it. And paint dripped down inside the glove. And got on my hand anyway. So, there you go. <laughs> Screw you guys. I think you need to learn how to wear gloves properly. I know how to wear gloves properly. <laughs> Apparently not if gloves if face getting inside of it. <laughs> it got on my arm, and I put my arm down, and the paint ran down inside my hand, and I got paint all right here on my hand. So... Mm -hmm. Gotta learn how to not get paint on your arms. Don't put your arms in paint. Well, it's kind of hard when it's dripping down everywhere and it's a big old canvas and you just did a pour and there it is and there you go. <laughs> okay, ouch. Painting never sucks. Okay. Now we're gonna pour over this one. There we go. Because that looks fugly. And you know what? I'm, a... I'm fugly. <laughs> <laughs> what is up with you, woman? Oh, I'll explain later. <laughs> she Remind took her hand. me and I'll explain later. Okay. That exactly, takes... Blair. She needs the full arm. But I think she just needs a hazmat suit, really. No, I don't need anything. I'm just that, that fine way. creating art the way I do it. <laughs> it's like the guy at GNC was looking at me funny because I came in. Well, my my de my dentist is getting used to me seeing me in my paint clothes because I go in and it's like, dude, I was in the studio. I'm sorry, I was running late. I didn't have time to change. And he's like, meh, it's okay as long as you're here. And uh, but the guy at GNC looked me up and down. <laughs> When I first walked in and he kind of like he did his you know an official hello welcome and blah 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 and if there's any questions you have please find me and I was like you know actually there are questions and I honestly almost saw him roll his eyes no kidding but then we ended up talking for a while and he realized that I wasn't just some slob That is exactly what you need, Blair. What? A giant condom for your body. How am I supposed to breathe? 
Well, you can have eye and nose and mouth holes. Sure, that's what you say now. I wore finger condoms in the video I posted today. Yes, I know. I saw that. I saw your video. <laughs> I'm like now she's gonna give me hell because I need to wear I need to wear finger condoms now, not just gloves. Because I was cut to resin. Well, yeah, it, it, you know if I have if I'm dealing with resin, I put gloves on before I even pick up the bottle. Because that stuff is sticky. Yeah. This is so really thick. Oh, Brenda's here. Hello, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. I didn't see her sneak in. She's quiet as a church mouse. I just remember finger condoms from when I worked at the bakery and anytime you had a cut on your finger you had to wear a finger condom because you had a band-aid on your finger. I'm like, well what if they both fall off? <laughs> you know? <laughs> so I made that point and then they went out and bought these metal detector, the one band-aids that can be detected by a metal detector. So because all of our bread go, would go through a metal detector to make sure that there was no components from the mixers or anything like that in it. and. Uh, <clears throat> so they got metal detecting um jeez woman what are you doing sorry <laughs> sounds like you're beating a horse over there poor thing poor horse <laughs> just, my, just my can of paint okay blowing it out five four Three, white in here. That's the wrong black. Put some black here. So when I spin it, it actually spins out. Here we go. Ooh, I like that yellow. It is no, a good I yellow. Hiccups. I got the hiccups now. I'm gonna let this sit for a minute because last time I think I spinned it too early. Spinned it. You spinned it.
Judy Russell's here too. Hello, Judy. I don't know if she heard me, but I said hi to her when you were blowing <laughs> out. Things. Oh, no. <laughs> when I was blowing. All right, here we go. Yes, you, you were preoccupied. <laughs> In a major way. Okay, let's do that one more time. happen if I move, spun it the other direction. Hey, that's my hand. Alright, try it one more time. Hey, it's getting slimy. Monica's here too. Hello, Monica. <clears throat> Happy Monday. Hi, Monica. Hi, Judy. Hi, Monica. I'm making all kinds of noise. I'm sorry. I gotta do this a couple more times. That one's pretty cool. I'm going to try it with a white background, though. I'm going to go grab a white canvas, and we're going to do white background on the next one. This one, the green just kind of said, I'm here. Listen to me now. So where's Brian? Wasn't it Brian that wanted green? Yeah. Well, where's Brian now? He's got his green. Okay. So this is this one. Ta-da! I'm always noisy and messy, Judy. <laughs> you need but I always... I, no, it's just a cheap one. It, that's, that's already been siliconed and, and made happy, as happy as it can be. There's no help in it now. It's all... It's just a cheap Wilton thing. I only expect for 10 bucks. not have high expectations for a ten dollar item all right i'm gonna grab a white canvas because we're gonna do white background on this one i did black because those were black it's easier to do black on black sounds like an acdc song that's jason's favorite song it's jason's favorite band Okay, I don't need this anymore. The little ones they wanted to slide off. This one I think will stick just fine. So let me, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go put this in the sink. Okay, I'm gonna take you guys in for a close up on this before I move it and pour something else with the rest of my cabin. Mm. 
missing it. I'm missing it. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so pretty. A little bit of yellow picking out. It's pretty. At least it didn't make green. Oh. No. Or just make green. It's going to become green. There's the wiggle in. Oops. Elisa, Monica wants to know what pigment you used. I use. Artisu Egyptian blue and green ice and Lorez Canary yellow. And then for my swipe color, um, I had, hold on, the black rhizolium oil based enamel cloth and make it opaque midnight black from Lorez as well. Oh, and just to remind you guys, we are still looking for artists. We will be looking for artists until we decide not to do Art of Blues anymore. <laughs> so if you're interested in um, joining us live, if you've never done a live, it's okay. Um, Brenda here had never done a live um, before, and I do believe it was a good experience for her. And just, I think, being in the comfort of people that... Um, have done lives before and knowing all the pressure wasn't just on her um, helped her come overcome some of the anxiety of going live I don't know I'm not going to speak for her she can speak for herself but that's the impression I got from her from talking to her so um, I'm not sure I know that Catherine had done a couple uh, Clara had gone live on other people's channels but not anything like our like what we were doing so, um, and then of course, um, Stacy, I don't know if she'd done any lives on her channel, but she's been doing lives ever since doing Artapalooza, so she's been doing a lot of those. Um, thank you, Doris, for putting the link in the, in the comments. It's also down in the description box below, and I will have it as a pinned comment as well, and in the info cards at this particular time on the replay. And display of color is here. Hello, Scarlett and Carrie. Hello, oh. hello, hello. Hi, Scarlett and Carrie. Oh, let me show you guys what I did. I just took it away. Yes, yes. Here, I'm going to bring you up big, big. Hang on. Come on, fancy. It's cutting board with the swipe. Okay, you can go back now. I can go back now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to start with gold. We're going to do squiggle lines with gold. I'm going to do this in reverse. Not so much. Okay. Ah. found a, well her dog found a bunny and was not very nice to it so Scarlett was trying to nurse it back to health and unfortunately it passed away yesterday Aww, so they're so, so hard to, to keep going I know we, we were tilling out our garden in the spring one year and didn't realize that a ba uh, mama bunny had burrowed in our right by our raspberry patch and we hit the burrow 
and we just decided to just leave it alone and mama bunny would move the bunnies and there were a couple bunnies that were left behind and it was really sad so we didn't let the kids see it of course but that was something that is a sound you don't forget <laughs> no no my mom had a um the only poodle shit to mix it and um, yeah she had one that found a baby bunny and i heard it and when i got it out of his mouth like i was screaming for my mom because we also live together and she came out and i'm like what oh, your dog dig and i turned my hand just right and i saw the gun i was just like take it don't Aww. tell me what you do with it just take it right now and i went back out and i started yelling at that dog and he's the kind of dog that you know you yell at him and he's like uh-huh uh-huh and wags his tail he's like well, uh-huh uh-huh and that's the only time i have ever yelled at him and he's like been scared i'm like yeah you better run dog because, <laughs> oh, uh -uh. well then you know <laughs> part of it is you can't be too mad at the dog because the dog that's the dog's nature but yet you're mad at the dog because it hurt another well, creature yeah i mean of course i didn't do anything to him except yell at no. I'm gonna thank his whatever, but I'm not gonna ever hurt anything for hurting another creature, but No. Like, Two wrongs oh, don't make a right. Better run down that driveway. <laughs> <laughs> Dog. <laughs> my my Max had a thing for field mice and I was okay with that because you know field mice like to eat my like to eat my potatoes out of my garden so I was like mm -hmm. you know what Max you you have all the little snacks you want just don't get sick yeah okay Oh, that's a big blue I'll be pink. back in a second. I'm just trying to make sure that these coasters, I'm just putting a clear coat on real quick, are fully covered before the resin gets okay. too hard. Do what you got to do. I don't mind snakes. Snakes don't bother me. It's not, you know, most no. snakes will leave you alone as long as you leave them alone or their babies alone. They leave you alone. If it has less than two legs and more than four legs, I have issues. <laughs> so snakes and spiders fit that category. See, none of them bother me. <clears throat> There was one thing before I moved down here, when I lived in Golden, I lived on um, a couple acres of property. So, I mean, it was just mostly grass with a house in the middle. And um, I was out with Jack, the dog that I had to put down in um, August. And this was before I had Peter. And he definitely a leash dog. So I'm out with him going to the bathroom and we're out by the shed. and. I hear this noise and it sounded like something moving through grass, like dead grass. Right. But it was like springtime, so all the grass is green and nice and fresh and long. And I'm like, what is that noise? And I look down and like a foot and a half away from me, behind me is a rattlesnake. And I'm just like, oh God, oh God. And the house is behind me and Jax is on the other side of me and I'm just like, Move it! We're running away! Run away from the house! Run, run, run! And you're not supposed to run, but I ran because mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> friends waiting for us. And I come around the house on the other side, and they're like, "Uh, where'd you come from?" <laughs> well, there was a snake. <laughs> snake, snake. There was scary. a snake. It was going to eat me. It was not going to eat you. Well, that's not what it's Bradler said. <laughs> it said, and, and that means I'm going to eat you. They can't so even gonna eat, eat you. <laughs> Goofball. No, I'd be, I, I'd actually be, when, when I was in Colorado, I was more concerned with the coyotes and the 
and the mountain lions and stuff. No, nope. because they got four legs. I'm okay with them. They, they, they no. Especially when you're walking a dog that thinks they're the toughest nails and they can beat anything, and it's like, um, no, Ash, we're going this way because they're that way. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't purposely go up, but... No, he wanted to. He wanted to go check it out. He's like, whoa, dude, what's up there? Let's go Let's go check it out. Come on, Mama T, let's go. And I'm like, mm-mm. That ain't bloody gonna happen. <clears throat> yeah, my boys were like that when, um, when they had their first encounter with the bait there in the back. Oh, goodness. It's like, nope, inside. Well, I thought it was a cat because like a mountain lion cat because it was dark yeah and i let him out and jack was always the one to you know you open the door and he just starts barking because he just barks at everything and anything yeah and tater started barking and i'm like uh oh something actually must be out there so i grab my coat go out there go around the house and they're barking at one of the apple trees and um I just see a dark mass up in the tree and it hits and I'm like okay inside because I thought it was a mountain lion and I go in and go up stairs basically and turn on the floodlights that were out there yeah and there's a bear sitting in the tree like eye level with me and I'm like oh Whoa. I did not know black bears hit but okay <laughs> neither did I I learned something new today <laughs> black bears hit <laughs> I, I I had a timber wolf in our in our backyard when we lived in, out in the country. That was we were yeah. we were at the house, but we were all inside in bed. And I went out the next morning, and right next to my car were four sets of tracks. And the biggest one, I kid you not, was probably this much smaller than my hand. Yeah. I mean, I've got fairly small hands, but still, a timber wolf. Mm -hmm. It was kind of cool. I've only seen them in Yellowstone. I've only seen moose outside of Yellowstone, too. Apparently, they have some in Colorado, but I don't believe it. They only exist outside of Yellowstone. <laughs> All right. I took the, th the guide thing off because that thing is making me mad, and I'm going to try blowing this on low. So we're going to see what happens. So final countdown, five, four. Three, two, one. Okay, it's not working the way I want it to. I like most of this, so. Carla, I'm the same way. If anything animal related, I'll just fall my head off. Even, um, I don't know if you saw the movie Godzilla 2000 in 2000, Matthew Broderick, but Godzilla had babies and all the babies died and they showed <laughs> Godzilla's face and I was bawling in the middle of the theater. <laughs> because some... Um, fake Godzilla's babies died. I mean, oh, I'm a mess when it comes to animals. Like, there are so many movies I just refuse to see because I know it's going to make me cry and I'm just not. Not about it. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me, Elisa. That doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> not even a little bit. <laughs> I'm a hot mess. Like, the... the when Artax in Never Ending Story was drowning in the sand pit or whatever it was, I have, I have never yes, actually bug. seen that scene because I will always close my eyes. <laughs> always. And like plug my ears and I'm like, la 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 la. I can't hear it. Yeah. Oh. Hot mess. Am I the only girl that had a, tr a crush on a treu? 
no. Okay. Because, yeah, he was little girl. He was, yeah. Yeah, I liked him. He was like, he was like my model, my model boyfriend between the ages of, I don't know, nine and now. <laughs> I mean, you know, just the, I mean, I'm not a, a pedophile or anything weird like that. I'm just saying the bravery that he showed and, and, you know, and all that. And I just imagine him all grown up. I like um, the second never-ending story that came out with Jonathan Brandis. I fell in love with him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's like, where are they now? Oh, he's dead. Is he really? Yeah, he died a long time ago. Oh, that's I sad. I want to say candor, but I could be wrong. I'd have to Google it. That's sad. Yeah. Him and Heath Ledger. Oh, gosh. About that one oh, man. When he died, I refused to see the Batman that he was in, like, right before he died. Yeah. I refused to, to yeah, see I Dark Knight, that. I think it is. I refused to see that for, like, I think it was probably six years until I saw that movie. It's like, I can't, I, I didn't watch A Knight's Tale, and that's one of my favorite movies. I just couldn't watch it. I'm like, he's not alive anymore. I can't watch this. It's, like, sacrilege. Yeah. Well, him and, um, Oh, what's his name? He was in Fast and Furious and Dude, Where's My Car? Uh, Paul or whatever? Dude. Yeah, Paul Walker. Yeah. Oh, I liked him too. That was a sad one. And he was supposed to be doing the Pike, um, Pike Peak Hill Climb that next year. And I was supposed to go to that. I totally didn't go to that because he died. I'm like, and we're done. And when they were um, filming that Fast and Furious that he was the last one he was in, yeah. I actually drove through the set over um, Monarch Pass, coming back from a friend's house in Durango. And it was really cool because I saw a bunch of the cars and I had to wait and stop because they were filming. It wasn't him, of course. It was whatever stunt driver they had. No, but still, it's still kind of cool that you got to see, you know. Yeah, yeah. All right. This is the last spin for the night. We're giving it a whirl. <laughs> Blair, my, my, a lot of people called my dog Jack Falcor because he looked like him. David Bowie was like immaculately handsome in Labyrinth. I'm, yeah, oh. I totally I good. Oh I man, I did. I just, yeah. It's funny because my, my daughter Clarice loves David Bowie. I think partially because of that movie and partially because I listened to a lot of David Bowie when they were little. So, cause I'm a huge David Bowie fan. I mean, that's part of the reason why I like the movie A Night's Tale is because they, they dance to the part, <clears throat> they dance to my favorite David Bowie song in that movie. Yeah. I'm just like, because of the time period and I have to keep pleasure in it. <laughs> oh, and then you got Josser. Um, what's his name? Um, the guy that, that is the herald for him. Um, golly, Paul Bettany. Oh. Yep. The tall dude? <laughs> the tall dude. That you, you get to see him net walking naked. You first introduced to him yeah. and he's buck ass naked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> funny. I like, I don't, I don't, I mean, he's cute, but he's not like, oh my god, or anything. But I do like him as an actor. As an actor, yes, definitely, for sure, as an actor. But I also think he's just really cute. I, I like think it's because he always um, plays the kind of the snarky characters. Yeah. I like actually all of Yep. Whoa, Bessie. <laughs> One more. Okay, I'm grateful that I put those things up. <laughs> than the other ones did. 
Okay, this is epic. Bye, Brenda. Bye, Brenda. Tip. I got most of the paint off of there. Oh, she's got her airbrush going. I can hear it. <laughs> okay, now I gotta go back in there. was the movie with Robin Williams and Cuba Gooding Jr. That is the one, um... My precious, Gina said it. And I do like Cuba Gooding Jr. though. No, my, no, it, um, it, it's, uh, that's not it. That's, that's, that's Gollum. Is that heavenly <laughs> one? Yeah, it's, um... Oh, oh golly, I can't think. I, oh. What dreams may come? That's the one. I've watched every Robin Williams movie known ever created. I think. No one ever created. N that everyone, anyone has ever created. What happened to my skewer? Oh, there it is, right there. Big dummy. Oh, Hello. I just picked it up. Okay, thank you. Sure. I need to. I need to like readjust this one. There. Don't. You know me and my my wispies. Take in for a close up on this. Okay, hang on. Okay. Ooh, I like the yellow. The yellow makes the uh, the the like the blue and the turquoise just kind of like I don't know. Happier. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's pretty. Uh, Y'all have seen this before. You can see what I did to my clock. I added Oops. some. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. I hit the wrong button. That's my bad. <gasps> that looks cool. Crackle. Mica. Paste. Oh. No, crackle paste. So I'm going to add um, probably black resin up here just to even that out and cover a little bit of this and then the rest of it just clear. And then and then you're going to put the, the clock up on your wall? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it just needs to be coated really now. That'll be pretty. It is pretty. Very good job. <clears throat> Okay. Did I torch this already? I think I did. I'll just hit it one more time. I'm interested to see. 
see how this gold dries because right now it's not very metallic. Okie dokie. Put that back up there. Now, there's bring... resin on my tablet. <gasps> Elisa. I don't even know how it got there. Shame. Sorry if I type weird letters. <laughs> My I and my O are probably going to be stuck. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't even know how that happens. It's, it's like in the middle and it's not like anything went over it. Okay. There we go. Now, that's the metallic and I'm waiting to see how that dries. Because it's not very metallic-y now. Because it's not the 24 karat gold. It's that other gold. <laughs> but I had to add a few wispies to it because you know that's my style. I love how the colors Scarlet kind of blend. It's beautiful. Well, thank you, Scarlet. Very fun. Mom says it's pretty cool looking. It's kind of St. Patrick's Day because that green. I tell you, that green just wants to say hello. I'm here. Oh my God. I'm so excited St. Patrick's Day is coming because last year I totally forgot to get um, corned beef thingies after St. Patrick's Day when it's all on sale. <laughs> I've been dying for my corned beef. Oh. m ms here. Whoa, split screen, I know. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're leveling it up to all those tech guys. We're going to be competing with those tech guys that do all the split screens and all that hallabaloo. <clears throat> Watch out, tech guys. We're coming to get you. <laughs> Beware. Beware. <laughs> you know, that totally makes me think of Labyrinth, too. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> the stones in the wall. Oh, come now. I haven't said it in such a long time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, but don't expect a reaction Bye. from us. <laughs> oh, no, of she course said not. Down. <laughs> she said sit down. down. <laughs> okay, so we're adults here. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't care what age you are. That movie is awesome. The same reference. <laughs> yes. If you don't... If you don't, you need to go watch the movie Labyrinth. It came out in what, 86, 89? The old one. They're coming out with a new one, aren't they? No. They better not. I will no, boycott sure that. They are. I'm pretty sure they are. <sighs> no. That's just wrong. Unless they come up with a totally new concept for it, you know, I don't think and so. have like a second generation type thing of it, then I can ha I can get behind that. But if they try and replace David yeah, Bowie no. Jaredith with someone else, there's something wrong. Well, that's all that movie people can do now is remake all the old good movies. Well, anyway. Yes, we need to do another plug for our uh, Artapalooza on Wednesday night. Um, if you are an artist of any form, whether you're professional or amateur or just learning a new technique or whatever kind of artist you are, whatever kind of creator you are, we welcome you to join us live on Artapalooza. The form for to fill out takes all of three minutes and it's nothing intrusive. It's just I need to know when you're available, if you have a cell phone or computer and what kind of art you do. You know, that's all we need to know. We don't need to know, you know, your, the name of, you know, your favorite cat and what kind of chocolate you prefer. It's interesting to know, but we don't need to know that. Um, we got to leave something for the chat, right? So. <laughs> Mix and match. The dance magic dance. And now that's all stuck in my head. <laughs> that's actually on my YouTube playlist. <laughs> It's like number song number four or five because that, that song no matter what kind of mood i'm in it always makes me in a better mood hey m and m you need to do you need to do some labyrinth mix-ups um i don't know if you've checked out mix and match but they do some really cool uh 
um, mashups in music, acapella, just, um, my favorite one is the one with the violin girl. I can't think of her name. That's my favorite one that they've made so far. That and Trash in the Camp. Da -da 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 I love that song. Oh, I'm so sad. I just realized that's not a cap song. No. There goes that cake. <laughs> oh, you don't have. You're all out? I'm out. What? I had them forever, and then I'm like, ooh, I can dip these, and now they're all gone. Oh, sad day. All gone. All gone. All gone. Rock painting? Absolutely, Julia. I, you know, artistry is artistry. When you express yourself, you express yourself. If you are, if you do watercolor painting, if you do whatever, I, I you know, I want to bring all artists together because we're all creatives and we all need to stick together. And we all need to support each other. And it's just, it's just art is art. And you know what? Some people say, well, acrylic pouring isn't art. Well, yeah, it is. You know? Graffiti is art. I, I'm sorry, a lot of, some of it's just trash and stupid, but I mean, there is a lot of graffiti out there, artists out there that I totally adore because they just, how they can do that with a spray can is beyond me. And I totally respect them and totally give them props. Oh. I so, went to um, Italy in like 2002 with my yeah. parents because they were on some choir tour thingy. Right. And, um, there was one of the street artists doing the the spray paint thing and I had a picture and I'm still I still like need to frame it and actually hang it up on my wall. Um, That'd be epic. but it's of this like space galaxy outer world thing and just amazing. Wow. Yeah, see and, and I, I I don't think art should discriminate, you know. I mean us as artists get discriminated enough against for for being, you know, having mental health issues, having health issues, being different, being odd, and us as artists being odd and being different, we should we should celebrate that with each other because that's the only way we're going to be accepted in any kind of group is to celebrate each other and so celebrate our differences and celebrate who we are as individuals and yet come together and be a group too. And that's what my channel is about and that's you know why I started Art of Palooza is because I want that to happen you know and I, I love to see it happen weekly but you know if I can't convince people to come online with me um, I can't do it you know and if you're scared I get it we respect it and we will walk you through it I will walk you through it it is it's it's easy for me to say oh it's easy because I've been doing it for what four months now every single day yeah, it's easy for me, but I understand, trust me, the first time I went live was uh, June of 2018, and I was live on my Facebook channel, the only person that showed up was me, okay, and for a whole month I went live, and my friend Jim John showed up, and Jason would show up when he could get his phone to work, so, you know, I get <laughs> I get it. You're scared. You don't want to show your face. You don't have to. You're worried your technology is going to fail. Don't worry. We got your back. You know, we'll take care of you. We'll bring you under our wing and we will show you the ropes. And hopefully, you know, especially if you have a YouTube channel, it's a great way to get watch time. It's a way, great way to get engagement. And, you know, it opens up a whole new avenue for you and your YouTube channel or you and your Facebook group or you know whatever means of promoting yourself it's a great way to to promote your art even just your art you know i don't know i'm preaching now i'll get off my soapbox <laughs> i dropped my scissors and i don't know where they fell there they are i do want to add to that that if we take you under our wing we will be wearing deodorant so you don't need to worry <laughs> Just say it. Speak for yourself, Alisa. Well, I, I did. <laughs> I don't know about this, but at least I won't say. I would be too, but I can't speak for everybody. <laughs> I know. I'm waiting for it, Eminem, for you to show your face. I've been waiting well, for I you to hear your voice. 
crap. I show I show my face and everybody's gonna run away screaming. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. Except for maybe Jason, because he's seen me. <laughs> but yeah, if you if you're interested if you're interested in, in doing this, I mean, even if it's just something you, you want to check out, you know, you don't have to make it an every week thing. You know, you don't even have to be there for the whole hour. If you're, if you're feeling anxious, you know, we'll have a safe word or something, you know, my safe word is monkey, you know, but I just, you know, if you, whatever it takes to help you grow, to help you as an artist, expand your horizons, you know, conquer your fears we want to be there and help you for that especially me i don't know about the rest of y'all but i have a lot of things that i'm afraid of and you know knowing that i have someone has my back i i feel like i can do anything you know except for climb climb mount kilimanjaro i'm not afraid of heights and i don't think i should do that so <clears throat> well, aren't safe words for the no it's not just not only for it. <laughs> No, safe words are for a lot of things because, you know, when I go grocery, when I go grocery shopping and I have had enough of people, I need a safe word. So when I, whoever I'm with, I, they know that, hey, I'll meet you out of the car because sometimes it gets too peopley out there in that big old world and I need to just go into the car for a little while and not have people. It's not just kinky bedroom stuff, but that's included. Yes. <laughs> well, I don't leave the house. Just avoid people. I, I know, but I still have to go grocery shopping. Hence the reason I haven't gone grocery shopping really since uh, Thanksgiving. So, I stocked up though. I still have enough food to last me probably another month. <laughs> Besides eggs and milk and bread, but I get that a quick trip when I get my gas. So, you know, I kill a bunch of birds with one stone. No, 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 no actual killing of birds actually happens for all of you animal lovers, just so you know. This is kind of cool though. I like this. I'm sorry. My brain goes 15 million miles an hour. And what time is Wednesday's live? Wednesday's live is 7:30, 7:30 Central. Um, and when we go to see safe word, when hubby and I go to his mom's safe word time to leave. Yep, there you go. See, it's not just for kinky bedroom. Mm -mm. There's a safe word for everything. So, so yeah, Wednesday night will be 7.30, tomorrow night is 8.30, um, and that's the Tish Talk, and I don't, I haven't narrowed it down. I always have like five or six topics that I want to talk about, and I have them all ready to go, and um, it just depends on how I'm feeling that day. If I'm feeling like I need to address something, then I address that something, so, <laughs> and, um, There'll be, um, so they'll be live tomorrow night, and Doris goes live on Tuesday night at 6.30. Um, if you let me know before the live broadcast what day you go live on your channels, I'd be more than happy. If you have a link to, you know, your videos that you want to publish, or, you know, populate whatever that you're publishing, or you have published, like, Elisa has a great new video out on her channel, so be sure to check that out. Um... But let me know, and I will. I'm more than happy to help you guys grow. And not a sub for sub thing. I'm not that kind of person. <laughs> but um, if you have something that you want to, you know, you're proud of, even if it was you baked a cake and it didn't look like a hot mess, you know, let me know. We'll post it in the group. You know, post it in the group. Oh, by the way, we have a Facebook group. <laughs> it's linked to our channel at the Artist Haven. So um, also. Um, if you have found value in this video, please smash that like button. And if you really did like this video and um, would like to support our channel, consider um, buying me a coffee or joining our Patreon um, group. I am giving away two paintings for the if you sign up in the month of February. And I have them, thankfully, right here. There's one. And then here's the other one. Oh, it's upside down. It's a picture frame. So, those two things are we giving away. If you sign up at the $20 level or more, you get a free custom 8x10. Um, and those will be going out in March. 
but um because i'm waiting for all everybody for the deadline and then i'm going to do everybody's together because that way i can do all that um but the links for the patreon and buy me a coffee and the artapalooza sign up form um are down below if you're interested in finding out what that's about and you want to watch it and see how you can do it our last live excuse me video um, um artapalooza is on the artapalooza playlist so check those out um if you're new to our channel welcome 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 if you like our vibe and want to join our little tribe all you gotta do is click subscribe oh lisa thank you <laughs> A little help from our friends <laughs> thank you so much for joining me tonight and thank you elisa for sharing another monday afternoon with me i appreciate you i have to sneeze sorry <laughs> okay that's all better <laughs> all right thank you so much for joining me it's truly a pleasure to, to chat with you and get to know y'all better be kind to one another Peace, love, and happiness.